Hello everyone, you are welcome to this class. So in this class, we want to continue, uh, we want to solve questions on trigonometric ratios of angles between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. So the first question we have here uh, is asking us, cos 151 degrees uh, equals to, so let's pick pen. All right, so 151 degrees equal to, so we ask you what is equivalent of this. If you want to take it on calculator, on the four figure table. So the first thing you need to do is to determine 151 first to which quadrant. And that is second quadrant because it's less than 180 but greater than 90 degrees. So in that case, we ask ourselves, is cos, cos or cosine positive or negative in the second quadrant? So in the second quadrant, cosine is uh, negative because all students take coke so cosine or is positive in the fourth quadrant why it is negative in the second quadrant in that case so it's supposed it's going to be minus cos 180 degrees minus 151 degrees so that means we're going to have minus cos so when you subtract this it's going to be 29 degrees so that is uh, the last option here then we go to the next question. The next question uh, is almost the same thing with this. We need to determine the quadrants of this. The quadrant of uh, 320. We need to determine that. The quadrant of 320. So 320 is in the fourth quadrant. It's in the fourth quadrant. And the fourth quadrant sign is negative. So which means this will also be negative as well. Uh, minus so minus uh, minus sine minus sine into bracket 360 minus 320 degrees so that is going to be minus sine sine 40 degrees so which is the last option as well all this is very clear so we go to question 3 question 3 uh, and four now, so we have under question three, tan 83 degree. So 83 degree falls under the first quadrant, and all the ratios are positive in the first quadrant. So therefore, the answer still remain as tan 83 degrees. I hope that is very clear. So that one is no problem with that. So move to question four. So question four, cos 314. So 314 falls under the fourth quadrant as well, and cos is positive. So that means cos will always be fourth, we're positive here, and that is going to give us uh, 360 degrees minus 314. So this will give us cos what? Of 46 degrees. That is option B. Then question five. So the same thing with this one, sine 130 degrees is under the second quadrant. And in second quadrant, sine is positive. Sine is positive in the second quadrant. So this would be positive. That would be sine 180 degrees minus 130 degrees. So that means sine 50 degrees. So which is option B. Then for question number six, for number six, so tan 167, this is 2. So this one is also on the uh, second quadrant, which is less than 180, right? And a tan is negative there. So that would be negative tan. Then 180 minus 167. That would be minus tan. 180 minus 67 is going to give us 13 degrees. I hope that is clear. So minus 10, 30 degrees. Okay, we move to question seven. Use table or calculator to find sine uh, 9, 39 degrees. So here, so you find out this 39 is in which quadrant? It's in the first quadrant. So the answer will be positive. So in that case, we find, use a calculator here. That's going to be 39, uh, then sine. So that gives us 0 0.0.6293. So which is this option? So for question is the same thing, the same thing applies to this one. So 130, 
So 130 falls under the second quadrant. And in second quadrant, tan is what? It's negative. So that means the answer will be negative. So that means minus tan 180 minus 130. So that's minus tan 50. So we check for tan 60. Tan 50 rather. So let's check for tan 50. 50 and uh, tan. So that is 1.1917. 1 point what? 1.1918. So that's going to be minus. Minus 1.1918. So this will be the answer. So for question 9. So the same thing. Here. Cos under the second quadrant. Cos is negative as well. So the answer will be negative cos uh, 180 minus 100. That is minus cos 80 degrees, right? So that means we check our answer will be negative. Then check cos 80. Use your calculator. Cos 80. Uh, cos 80 is 0 0.1736. 0 0.1736. 0 0.1736. So this is this one. You can see this is very straightforward and uh, easy to do. So move to question 10 now. So for question 10, what we have a use table calculator to find tan 167. So tan also here is negative because this was on the second quadrant as well. So that's going to give us uh, negative tan uh, 180 minus 167. So negative tan. 180 minus 167, uh, this is going to be was 3, uh, 13. All right, that is 13. So we check for tan 13. Tan 13. So 13 tan. So that gives us uh, 0 0.2309. So that is this option. No, 0 0.2309. So that is that... Uh, on this video and this is how we're going to stop so we'll continue in our with our class so bye for now